What is a client side attack? In this video, we will try to understand that. A client side attack is a type of cyber attack that exploits various security vulnerabilities to infect a client computer. As for example, the computer of a user who is visiting a website. For example, attackers may exploit a vulnerability of a web application server to run malicious scripts on a user's computer and steal the user's sensitive data. A client-side attack often needs user interaction. As for example, a user clicking on a link, downloading some malicious software, etc. There are different types of client-side attacks. For example, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, clickjacking, etc. They are all types of client-side attacks. In this video, we will take the example of a cross-site scripting attack to understand the client-side attacks in a better way. Let's say there is a web application server that does not validate user inputs properly. There is a search bar where a user can type something and search for information. But as the web application server does not validate the user inputs properly, a malicious user can type a script also in the search bar. Now, let's say an attacker knows the vulnerability on the website of www.vulnerable.com. So, he sends the following URL to a victim. The attacker may deceive the victim into clicking on the link. Let's say by saying, please have a look at an interesting picture. When the victim clicks on the link, the web page will open. But as the server has a cross-site scripting vulnerability, the script steal.js will start running on the user's browser as soon as the web page opens. At this point, if the victim is already authenticated to the web application, the malicious script can steal the authentication cookies of the user or perform some other malicious actions. Thus, attackers can use various vulnerabilities to run scripts on an end user's browser or computer in a client-side attack. How to prevent cross-site scripting attacks? A server should always validate user inputs properly. For example, a user can provide untrusted data within HTML. So, software developers should escape the data. One should escape sensitive characters using HTML entity encoding. For example, if software developers use PHP, they can use the function HTML special characters before putting the untrusted data in the HTML body or attributes or outputting the data in the JavaScript variable. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body or refer to the playlist information security. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.